The revised rules, jointly released by six government departments, including the China's Ministry of Commerce and the Securities Regulatory Commission, allow for natural persons to make strategic investment in listed companies, a change from the old rules that only allowed foreign legal persons or organizations to make such investment. In a move to encourage foreign investors to make long-term and value investment in China, capital requirement is also lowered under the new rules for foreign investors that do not become the controlling shareholders in listed firms. The latest capital requirement will be no less than 50 million US dollars in total actual assets or no less than 300 million US dollars in total managed actual assets. The new rules at tender offers as an extra option to make strategic investment. In the past, the only available options were private placements and shared transfer agreements. For foreign investors intending to invest through the options of private placements or tender offers, they will be allowed to use shares of non-listed overseas companies as consideration shares for acquisition payment. In order to encourage medium and long-term investment, the requirement on lockup period for acquired shares should be no shorter than a 12-month period under the new rules. This is reduced from no shorter than three years previously. The relevant officials said that with the expansion of openness, according to them, it is also vital to effectively plug management loopholes, prevent and mitigate risks, and safeguard the national security. The efforts will include strengthening the responsibilities of intermediary institutions, specifying that investors can make compliance commitments during information disclosure, aligning with the Foreign Investment Security Review System and antitrust review regulations, and introducing additional administrative penalty provisions for the competent commercial departments. Based on aggregation of foreign news reports by Earth News,